in today's tutorial i am going to show you how to make an interactive presentation deck this will be a very good slide for school students teachers or working professionals and this is how the slide looks you can see here i've added four options it's up to you if you have if you want you can add more options also now i have added the option number one here the title and the detailed text then the option two three and four and when I click on the option number here, it takes me to the respective slide so that you can add more details there. So when I click on one, you can see here, it takes me to the slide number one, the same title and the text we have added, then you can add your own content here. And to go back to the particular slide or the slide number one or the main slide, you can just click the home button it backs to the slide no, main slide now let me just click on the slide number three it takes me to the slide number three again home four it takes me to the four again click on home slide number two you can see here this way you can make very interactive presentation deck for your school or your company so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes i'm going to select a rectangle draw a rectangle here uh, depending on your size you can adjust the height of this shape shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give these colors you can see here and at the bottom i'm just going to add a border for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle a small one i'm just going to add it here make it shape outline no outline and i'm going to give a black color and you can write your subject here or whatever and then let me just left aligned you can see here make it bold i'm going to open uh, use the open sans uh, font and color let it be white and then i'm just going to add one more shape which is i'm going to select this one which is top corners rounded make it and bring it down here a little bit again shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to use the same color you can see here again because what's happening here it's it is uh, uh, blending with the this color so I want to give a shadow effect for that. Let me just go to insert shapes, select a right triangle, draw a right triangle. You can see here shape outline, make it no outline and you can give a black color and right mouse click, go to format shape, fill. I can increase the transparency level. You can see here the transparency level I have increased or if you want, you can go and give the soft edges also here you can see here i can just reduce the soft edges and then i'm just going to rotate it i will just rotate it to flip vertical you can see here and then i'm going to bring it down here and a little bit i'll increase the size and let me just send this to back so you can see here i have just created this one i can reduce i can just bring it more down also it gives a good effect then i'm just going to add one more uh, shadow effect here for that let me just go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a small rectangle maybe this much size you can see here shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to use a gradient fill gradient fill I'm going to use two uh, stops you can see here one is the black and one is the white so first of all I'm going to select a linear direction you can just select which is this one and then here I'm just going to select a black and you can increase or decrease you can see here the transparency and this one I can use white or any other color which I'm going to use in my next object. So let me just put it here and then send me send this to back. So you can see here one more shadow effect has been created. Now I'm just going to select this object, press Ctrl D and I'm going to change the color. 
to this color which is this one you can see here I'm just going to select this and send this to back and I'm going to reduce the size and you can see here this looks more white so this color I'm just going to select and I'm going to use eyedropper and select this color and increase the transparency so you can see here the whiteness is not visible and then again I'm just going to select these two objects let me just group it and press ctrl D I'm going to add one more here and this color also I'm just going to change this one and this shadow effect I'm going to select press ctrl D and send this to back you can see here and then I'm just going to select this press ctrl D and I'm going to change the color which is this color I'm going to use send this to back and make sure that no outline is selected and again you can see here this one color I'm going to select the gray color and increase the transparency level and let me just reduce it I'm going to copy this press ctrl D here and this color also I'm going to change it so three I have already added now the last one ctrl D and I'm going to select this color which is or you can choose, choose any color of your choice let me just send this to back and this also the shadow effect ctrl D and again I'm going to choose this color and increase the transparency level bring it more down and send this to back you can see here let, yeah so this is okay and the last one press ctrl D and just copy this and change this color so you can see here our basic design is ready now now let me just add the option number here and the detailed text for that go to insert text box and I'm going to add the text which is 01 or ABCD or if you are a school student you can say math science or some other subjects center align I'm going to change the font to white color make it bold and choose your own font and increase the size you can see here let me just put it 01 press ctrl D this will be 2 this is 3 and this is 4 so let me just change the numbers now 4 sorry 3 and this is 2 and if you want you can just again group it if you like to group this one this and this again you can press ctrl G you can simply select this and ctrl G group it if you like otherwise you can leave without grouping also so anyway let me just group this and then go to insert text box you can add your title here add your title and again I'm going to select white make it bold and open sans here sorry and I'm just going to put it this side and you can add the detailed text go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one this will give me a latin text again the same white I'll change the font to open sans reduce the size you can see here and select both of this format align left align and press ctrl G to group it ctrl D to duplicate and just add it here you can see here this is 2 ctrl D again this is 3 and this is 4.
so you can see here our basic design is ready we have added the text and if you want you can add the icons now let's add the interactive part so i'm going to add four more slides and when i click any on these options it should take me to that particular slide so let's see how to do that one first of all i'm just going to add a new slide and remove the unwanted placeholder columns and i'm just going to select this you can see here press ctrl c come here and ctrl v and i'm just going to rotate this you can see here let me just rotate it and put it here and this one also i'm just going to rotate it and make it straight so you can see here zero one and go to insert shapes i'm going to select a rectangle cover the rectangle shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to use the same color and this particular text you can see here i'm just going to copy ctrl c and ctrl v i'm going to place it here but this is not visible i'm just going to change the color so we know exactly we are talking about this particular slide now press ctrl d to duplicate this and just change the color go to format second color is this one this is also the same color and this also i'm going to change the color and i'm going to change this to two likewise i'm just going to add two more slides so this is three and change the color to this gray color this also i'm going to use the same color and the text also same color here and the last one this will be four and change the color to this one this also the same color and the text also the same color so you can see here this is our main slide then when i click it should go to the respective slide so let's see how to do that one interactively now i want my presentation to work like this when i click on this particular you can see here this particular uh, shape it should take me to this particular slide now for that let me just go to insert but you can see here the link and action both are disabled that means i cannot use it because for the group objects i cannot use the link and action so i can just select this text you can see at the moment i set the text link and action both got enabled let me just click on the action and you can see there's something called hyperlink hyperlink click on the drop down and i will just select the slide and i will say slide number two you can see here click ok and okay let me just show you now when i bring my mouse here you can see here the cursor changes to the hand when i click it takes me to the slide number two which is this one now let me just go here i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to select this text action hyperlink to slide and slide number three click okay then again i'm just going to this option action hyperlink slide i'm going to slide number four and the last one which is slide number five action hyperlink slide make it five and click ok so you can see here now if i do the slideshow when i click on two it takes me two but how do i bring back to my main slide so for that i'm going to use one more option go to insert shapes scroll down and you can see here there's something called house can you see here this one action button go home just click that one and anywhere wherever you feel comfortable just add the button here you can see here i'm just going to add the button here and immediately it asks me the action settings hyperlink to is a by default first slide let it be okay and shape fill i'm going to make it no fill and the color shape outline i'm going to use this line press ctrl c 
go to the next one control V I'm just going to change the color of the line only you can see here again control V again change the color which is gray and last one which I can change from here also you can see here when I click one it takes me here and click it takes me back to the main slide slide number three I want to do it you can see here one more problem here the moment I click immediately it goes to the slide number four which I don't want that to happen for that I can just go select all these four slides you can see here transition I will remove the on mouse click so even though if I'm clicking anywhere it won't take me to the first slide unless and until I click on the home button so let me just show you now when I say 0 1 you can see here it is not allowing me to go anywhere unless when I bring here it's taking me taking me back to the first slide again click here 3 click here 4 click here as simple as that so you can see here that is uh, once I click on this one it taking me to a different slide according to the slide which we have selected here but uh, when it is going transition we have not given any transition so it doesn't look good for that let me just add some transition I am going to select all these four uh, slides the last four only not the first one you can see here this 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 and this and then I can just select the push you can see here the push you want left right or whatever you have got a variety of transition effects so let me just select this one when I click one it's pushing up all right and when I click two you can see here three also it's going me and four it also going now if I want four this one it should start from the top I can just say from top it comes something like this so if I play now four it comes something like this so it's very useful to use the transition in this particular kind of business decks that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye